she thinks little and tiny ones don't hurt as much as big fat ones, but they do. Painful times call for desperate midwives. Monday is at nine on BBC Three. Sir, phase two of your master plan, Project Ukraine, is now complete. <laughs> the 50th anniversary of Eurovision, a perfect time for my victory. Yes, sir, the perfect time to bring out the big guns. <laughs> Good work, Miss Kaplinsky. Soon European pop domination will be mine. <laughs> Eurovision 2005, this time it's serious. Saturday night from 8 on BBC One and Radio 2. Nobody will ever call you Mr. Millpot again, sir. Mm. Hi there, I'm Sevi. The Eurovision semi-final is next. First, a quick update from 60 Seconds. Chat show host Larry King has been turned away from the Jackson trial. The judge said his evidence would be irrelevant. Rumours are also flying that Jacko won't testify. An inquiry started into how a known mental patient stabbed a policeman to death in Birmingham. Glaister Butler was convicted of manslaughter and will be detained indefinitely. Doctors say the latest diet craze is good for you. Low GI diets replace things like potatoes with pasta. Experts say it helps the heart and protects against diabetes. Don't they look smart? Arsenal have been showing off their cup final suits. Meanwhile, it's emerged that Ashley Cole wanted his salary tripled to stay at Highbury. Finally, it's out there. The last Star Wars is in cinemas. Nearly 19,000 copies of the film have been sent out in what's thought to be the biggest ever global film release. I'll be back later, next on 3, the Eurovision semi-final. Bye-bye. We spend more time with the remaining Strictly Dance Fever survivors tomorrow at 7.30 on BBC Three. But right now, singing to survive, it's the Eurovision Song Contest semi-final 2005. Thank you. 